Hello brothers and sisters, uh, I'm brother RJ and I have uh, sister M beside me here. Um, we have, uh, in the last uh, video that we done was on the parables and uh, as I had said at the end of that video we were going to go on to do uh, a video on the set judgment day. So we're carrying on with uh, the testimony of the Christ, testimony of Christ, uh, the gospel of the kingdom, end time prophecy. And as I say, this video is going to be on the set judgment day. So without further ado, uh, we're going to go to uh, the book of Jubilees, uh, chapter 3, verse 17. Um, the book of Jubilees, chapter 3, verse 17. And after the completion of the seven years, which he had completed there, seven years exactly, 8 a.m., and in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the serpent came and approached the woman, and the serpent said to the woman, Have the Most High commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Okay, so, as I say, this is all about the set judgment day that has been decreed from the very beginning. And there's various judgments that they were actually going to be looking at here. And this very first one um, we're looking at is the exact uh, month and day when Adam and Eve fell. When uh, Eve ate of the, the tree of good and evil. And then of course uh, Adam ate of it and uh, you know judgment uh, came upon them okay so if you could carry on please um, book of Ju Jubilees chapter 3 verse 19 and the serpent said unto the woman ye shall not surely die for the most high doth know that on the day ye shall eat thereof your eyes will be opened and ye will be as gods and you will know good and evil. Okay, carry on. G Genesis 2, se verses 17. But out of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, oh, sorry, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, Thou shalt surely die. Okay, so brothers and sisters, we were looking here at uh, seeing uh, scriptural evidence of the book of Jubilees that uh, Eve fell on the second month and the 17th day of the month. And we're also looking at here, it says in Genesis, and it's chapter 2, verse 17, uh, that on that on that day, that judgment day, that she should she should uh, fall, and as we can see here, um, we also have Bible code in the Bible to show that it was the second month and the seventeenth day from the Bible, because it's Genesis chapter two, verse seventeen. Okay, if you could carry on. <coughs> Um, Echolastius. Uh, no, we uh, Most High. Uh, the Most High. Uh, yeah. The Most High knew Eve would eat of the tree of good and evil in their timeline. But the Most High gave them a chance to change their mind. Adam and Eve did not change their mind. The Most High gave us the Day of Judgment in Bible Code. As well. That as well, which was Genesis chapter 2, verses 17, second month and 17th day. Yep. Okay, carry on. 
Echolastes chapter 1 verse 8 All things are full of labour, man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. Okay, carry on. Echolastes chapter 1 verse 9 The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Uh -huh. So what has been, has been done, and of course what shall be done, shall be, and there is no new thing under the sun. So this is, this is telling us that this has been done because the the beginning and the end as far as the father is concerned the beginning and the end are to, together and uh, just to say that we we are just living a kind of timeline down here but in the heavenly realm there's no concept of time um, so basically um, it's just we, we are kind of going quite slow down here and we are living a timeline but in the heavenly realm there's no concept of time um, okay, if you could go on to Genesis chapter 7, please. Genesis chapter 7. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was upon the earth. 40 days and 40 nights. Okay, so we see here um, that the first judgment, as we've seen, is when Adam and Eve fell. And Adam and Eve fell on the second month and the 17th day of the month. So the judgment day was the 17th day. Likewise, as we're seeing here, the next judgment, which was... Uh, when the floods came uh, and uh, took the people all away uh, we see here that uh, it was the second month and the 17th day of the month that was when uh, the floods came and and took uh, everybody away but of course Noah was Noah was the one with his family that went into the ark uh, and they were the ones that were that were saved, they were in a safe place, they were in the ark, whereas everybody else was taken away and uh, was killed by by the flood. Uh, everybody else was downed in the, in the, in the flood. Um, okay, if you carry on. Yep. Um, Genesis 7, verse 13. In the selfsame day entered Noah, and Shem, and Ham, and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with him into the ark. Okay, so we see here that the, it was Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth, the son of Noah and Noah's wife and his three wives, so of, of the three wives of his sons. So all of them, we were the only ones, they were the only ones that uh, were saved uh, uh, in the flood. Uh, they were the only ones out of, out of everybody that survived the flood. Yeah, okay, if you could carry on. The Book of Jubilees, chapter 5, verses 22, 23, 31, and 32. So, verse 22. And Noah made the ark in all respects, as he commanded him, in the 27th jubilee of years, in the fifth week, in the fifth year, on the new moon of the first month, 13.07 a.m. Okay, if you carry on. And he entered in the sixth year thereof, 13.08, in the second month, on the new moon of the second month, till the sixteenth, and he entered, and all that we, that, and all that he brought to him into the ark, and the Most High closed it from without on the seventeenth evening. Okay, carry on. And the waters disappeared from above the earth in the fifth week, in the seventh year, 1309 a.m., 
thereof, and on the seventeenth day, in the second month, the earth was dry. Carry on. And on the twenty-seventh thereof, he opened the ark, and sent forth from it beasts and cattle, and birds, and every moving thing. Okay, carry on. Notice here that the flood was forty days and forty nights. The Most High gives us the seventeenth day and the second month, when the earth was dry, one year after the flood started, a new beginning on that day forward. Okay, so let's recap, brothers and sisters here. We've got Noah went into the ark on the second month, on the seventeenth day, judgment day upon the earth. Eve took of the tree of good and evil on the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, judgment day. And a year later, the new world, on the second month, on the seventeenth day, the earth was dry. Okay, um, so if you could carry on, please. Matthew 24, verses 37 to 39. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in mar into marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So... In the days of Noah, before the flood, we know that the Most High decreed all flesh on the earth was corrupt. Noah and his family got saved. Uh, if you could go into Genesis chapter 6 verse 17. Genesis 6 verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to, des to destroy all flesh, Wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. Okay, carry on. Genesis 5, verse 32. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis 6, verses 10 to 14. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And the Most High said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. Okay, carry on. Genesis chapter 7, verse 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. It was about a hundred years that Noah took to build the ark. We don't know, but there might have been people that asked Noah what was going on when he built the ark, and being a preacher man, Noah would have told them, but they did not believe him due to being lukewarmers, unbelievers. Yeah. Okay, so if you could go on to Matthew <coughs> 22, eh, if you could go on to Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. Matthew chapter 22, verses 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, brothers and sisters, so we see here that um, we are... We are we're looking at the Judgment Day, and of course the Judgment Day, as you'll have already gathered here, is the is the 17th day. That's the, the Judgment Day. It's been decreed from the very beginning. And 
as we can see in this verse, it's telling us here, for many are called, but few are chosen. And before we finish um, all the videos that we're going to be doing, brothers and sisters, um, we, by doing these videos, the one thing that we are wanting to do above everything else is actually make sure that people are geared up to, to know exactly what they should be doing at the end times. So that when you see a verse like this, so many are called but few are chosen, no brothers and sisters, we want we want everybody uh, to be there at the very end. We want everybody to be there um, to be saved uh, because uh, we don't want anybody to fall. We want, we want everybody to to know exactly what they have to do and um, as we go through um, this understanding um, all brothers and sisters uh, in the world um, will know exactly uh, what they have to do. Okay, so if you could uh, carry on, uh, Sister M. Yeah. Luke chapter 17 verses 26 to 30. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Okay, so verse 29. But in the same day, the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Okay, so again we are seeing reference to the fact that uh, when when Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, uh, it was the self same day, brothers and sisters. So it was the very very same day. It was the seventeenth day that uh, you know Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Okay, verse thirty. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Even thus shall it be in the day, brothers and sisters, the day, that judgment day, when the Son of Man is revealed. Lot was told by the angels to go to his family members and other people to tell them they had to get out of the city as it was going to get destroyed, but they did not listen. Because, as again, they were, they were lukewarmers, unbelievers. Okay, carry on. Genesis chapter 19, verses 12 to 14. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law, and, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city? Bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Most High, and the Most High has sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Most High will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. The whole world knows not when the hour or day is coming. Only when Noah entered the ark, the whole world is not watching or in their Bibles to understand the day or month of the coming of the Son of Man be. It was the 17th day that Lot came out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Judgment Day, the 17th day, also note, it's the 17th chapter, Bible Code, Luke 17, 29. It does, of, it does, of course, tell us it was the fourth month in the Book of Jubilees. There is one more judgment day to be included in these details. 
and that is the one uh, that will be shared uh, in due course brothers and sisters in the next video that we're going to do okay so to recap sis brothers and sisters uh, this is the continuation of the testimony of Christ end time prophecy gospel of the kingdom and uh, just to say that uh, anybody that wants to get in touch we have an email address it's understandingofchrist at gmail.com you can contact me uh, my mobile number is 07513 774 796 uh, brother Ronnie um, or by Facebook come and find out the true understanding that brothers and sisters is our facebook page and on 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 that on that page uh, we also have uh, the other videos that we have already done you can you can get um, the other videos that we've done uh, by going to youtube um, that's the testimony of christ part one and part two and uh, the parables there's four videos on the parables uh, as well that's uh, that's the first that's the sequence of videos that we have already done um, and just to uh, reiterate brothers and sisters that uh, the next video that uh, we'll be doing is a continuation of uh, the set judgment day and the biggest judgment day to come and that is the the judgment day that is still to come when our saviour christ is going to come back okay thank you very much brothers and sisters for listening in and uh, uh, myself and sister m will look forward to your company for the next set of videos okay so i'll say bye for now shalom brothers and sisters oh okay